Hello and welcome to Council Conversations. It's my pleasure to share this opportunity to introduce you to the men and women who serve as our elected body and represent you, the residents of Greensboro. Join us as we take you outside the four walls of this council chamber and visit different locations throughout our great city that represent initiatives of particular interest to our city council. Again, welcome to Council Conversations. This day, I have the pleasure of sitting down with Mayor Nancy Vaughn here at the Greensboro Science Center. Madam Mayor, it's always nice to see you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. This is a very busy time for the city of Greensboro as we embark on a new budget year and we continue to see progress and growth. So uh, one of those examples would be the facility and the expansion here at the Greensboro Science Center. How does that benefit the residents of Greensboro? Oh, this is really one of our many jewels. I think it is ranked the top 10 place to come visit in the state of North Carolina. Uh, you know, a few years ago, you would spend just a couple of hours here, and now you could really spend a full weekend with all the different amenities. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for the Guilford County school system to come out and other schools. And it's one of the many things we have to attract people here to the city of Greensboro. Wonderful, and it's always nice to see facilities like this being part of city government, something that most people would not expect. It's a great public-private partnership. When we opened up the museum, we got to be on the animal planet, which was a lot of fun, so people heard about us nationally. And speaking of nationally, there are moments that you can look to during your term as mayor that Greensboro has been placed on the national map, either through uh, events like the Folk Festival or different performers at the Coliseum. How do you envision people seeing Greensboro on the national stage? Well, I always love to point out that it is the National Folk Festival. And the first year that we had it last year, I think we did a phenomenal job. Um, over 102,000 people came out over the two and a half days. It was so much fun. There was a lot to do for everyone. We really showed ourselves well, and I think that will help us attract other acts. Um, of course, the Coliseum continues to book world-class acts, and Justin Bieber was in town. I missed the concert, not sure how it went, but um, we are able to get top performers here, stop top sporting events. You know, we are known as tournament town because we have such great facilities, whether it's the Coliseum, which could be a basketball court, and then the next day it could be a sheet of ice for the skating championships. We've got the wonderful aquatic center. We've got great soccer, golf, baseball. So we are able to attract a lot of different events that um, really do put us on a national stage. Last year with the Folk Festival, you know, that month started with the Wyndham, and the Wyndham was shown in 220 different countries throughout the world. And then just three weeks later, we had the National Folk Festival. And to get that kind of play around the world is really amazing. You can't put a dollar value on how much that advertising means to us as a city. Mayor, you gave us several examples of the different things that people can do here that would really speak to the quality of life as far as different activities and places to visit and things to do. How are you and your fellow council members working together to bring new jobs and housing opportunities to the community? You know, we are very focused on economic development. The city of Greensboro was hit especially hard 2008 during, during the recession. One thing that we're doing is a little different is that we are not counting the number of jobs. We are really focused on wage growth. So we want to make sure that we are attracting high quality jobs that are gonna put our residents to work where they'll have a living wage where they can raise a family. 
One of the biggest things that we did was we partnered with the Guilford County Commissioners and the City of High Point in the Guilford County Economic Development Alliance. And that means that we're not going to be competing against each other, that when um, new companies come into town and they want to see different properties, that we are really working together to show that we are committed for the future of the City of Greensboro, the City of High Point, and Guilford County. I think that's very important because people like to see a unified voice, that you don't have um, municipalities who are fighting against each other. I think we're really going to see this pay off over the next year. Of course, we're, we have the mega site, uh, the, the Greensboro Randolph mega site, and I'm very excited about that. Um, we, we have a really good partnership with, the, with Randolph County, um, the North Carolina Railroad, the Bryan Foundation, and we know that it would be nice if we could attract a car manufacturer, and that's what the most conversation is, but we have a plan B because we know that there are only a finite number of car manufacturers, but it could be aerospace, it could be medical, there could be a lot of different things that could go on this property. We just want it to employ at least 1,700 people that pay a really good wage and that they'll bring their supply chain along with it. When you look at other communities, when a big advanced manufacturer comes to town, the way that it changes that community, nobody has said, oh, well, I got a really big employer and we don't want them anymore. So we, um, with the help of the Bryan Foundation, because they got out there first, I think we are situated really well to, in the future, attract uh, an advanced manufacturer like that. You mentioned housing. We know that our housing stock has really suffered in the last couple of years. We're looking at possibly doing an affordable housing bond. We need to make sure that our residents have safe, affordable housing. And that's something else that when employers come to town, they look at the quality of life in a city. So you have kind of the moral case of making sure that people have good places to live. And then you have the business case on why it's important to give people good places to live. So that is something that we are focusing on. We've got a great commission on minimum housing. Um, they have done really good work at making sure that landlords bring their properties up to standard. So I think that we are looking at both of those issues in a very aggressive way. Okay, and these are all areas where people who live in the city of Greensboro can be a participant and actually have a voice at the table. As mayor, I think it's important that you invite them to be part of the process. What are some of the ways that people who want to get involved want to be more informed or really just help the council with decisions that they make? How can they do that? Well, if people want to be more involved, we have, you know, quite a few different boards and commissions. Um, I would invite them to apply, let us know what type of board or commission they would like to be on. You know, there are an awful lot of neighborhood associations and that's a really good grassroots way of getting involved in your community. People come up through um, neighborhood associations to run for city council and for, for other boards. I think, you know, you can, you can really get involved in your community in so many different ways. It could be the PTA, it could be through your church. You know, there are lots of different ways to do outreach. I think it's important to find what speaks to you, what you like to do the best, and then figure out how you can plug yourself in. And of course, we've got the, um, the City Academy, which is a lot of fun. I would encourage people to look at the City Academy. It's a great way to get to know your city. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Mayor Vaughn. We know you're busy running the city of Greensboro. We always appreciate when you take the time out of your schedule to sit down and talk with us. And uh, certainly we want folks to feel like they know what you do as mayor and, and the different changes that are going on in the city of Greensboro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay tuned for more episodes of Council Conversations featuring the other members of the Greensboro City Council as Nancy Hoffman shares her views on government. City government is the government that's closest to us. 
Uh, we live with it every day, and yet sometimes it, not sometimes, I think universally, it's, uh, it's the least interesting government to people. And yet the city is responsible for so many aspects of our daily lives. We take a lot of them for granted. Sharon Hightower talks about the city's support of local businesses. As we spend city dollars, we need to spend those city dollars with our small businesses because they are an undergird of the city anyway. They are here oftentimes when the big businesses are gone. And we need to make sure they know that we are open for business. They are welcome to do business here. And that's what we've got to continue to do in this city in order to grow Greensboro to higher heights. We'll hear from Jamal Fox and see how the face of District 2 is changing. We're going to see a transformation in this area like we've never seen before. Um, and it's a great time to live in these surrounding communities. It's a great time to live in the city where you look at just, I mean, just in this district and the other districts around so much, over three, four hundred million being plugged in downtown. And our district uh, has a piece of that pie. And, and you know, and that's awesome, and, and we're excited about it. But this is just scratching the surface. We're not done. There's so much more that we want to do and accomplish. Yvonne Johnson explains the need for continued education programs. We have wonderful colleges and universities, and we have a great community college, GTCC, who really um, have have done just great things. But I would like our unemployment rate to go down to just a to almost nothing. You know, we need to do more specific training in specific areas. And I would like to see that happen in various sections of Greensboro. And Mike Barber shares his vision for Greensboro's overall quality of life. There are things that we do well that we should continue to do well. Um, I'm, I'm a strong proponent of quality of life and athletics and parks and recreation. And, um, you know, parks make a city beautiful. It protects green space. And um, it gives the youth some alternatives to those things that we don't want our youth to be doing. And we're very strong in parks and recreation. I want to continue that. Learn about the city initiatives and important decisions being made by the men and women who represent you. Be sure to tune in to Council Conversations right here on GTN.